Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Friday, March 15, 2019. I'm Addison. And I'm Lauren. From Miss Noel's class. Everyone please stand for the national anthem and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Here's Miss Kissinger. There I am. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Friday. Yes, it is a wonderful day here at DeSoto Trail, and today is the day you get to check out an extra book, one extra book for the spring break, as long as you do not have any overdue books. And it's an opportunity for you to get some reading in next week, get a jump start on those AR tests that you'll be taking when you get back, and if you have any overdue books, you can find them and bring them back to school. Okay, happy reading, happy Friday, and back to our news crew. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. Chicken and cheese taquito or build your own pizza. Side items include back black eyed peas and sweet potato souffle. Food is also available. Here's PTO. Good morning, Trailblazers. As you know, last week we held the Spring Parents Meet and Eat at Maple Street. This is an event that we've created, it happens twice a year, to give your parents an opportunity to get to know other DeSoto Trail parents in an effort to strengthen our school community. Maple Street Biscuit Company, at the roundabout just up the road, graciously hosts this event for us and provides a comfortable conversation space, as well as a menu full of delicious foods and coffee for us to enjoy while we're there. On top of all that, they actually give a portion of the sales back to DeSoto Trail. So a huge thank you to Maple Street. You may have also remembered from the flyer that we have a little competition to see which class has the greatest amount of parent participation. So this year, I'm excited to announce that the class who had the most parents braving the cold to come support our school at Maple Street is, drum roll please, Mrs. Rockenstein's fourth grade class. Congratulations and thank you for coming. Um, we have another event coming up next fall in which we look forward to meeting even more Trailblazer families. But a big thank you to Maple Street. A big thank you to the volunteers. Thanks and y'all have a safe and fun spring break. See ya. Miss Dr. Poole for a few announcements. Blazers and a happy Friday. I think everybody is excited because we're gearing up for spring break. So we're going to kick off this morning because we have some celebrations. Now I'm going to do all of the birthdays, including today's birthday this weekend, all the way up through the 25th of March. Students return on the 26th. So all of those birthdays, I want you to come down to the front office because we want to celebrate with you as well. For today, we have Tucker C., Kathleen H. And for the rest of the days, we have Brooklyn H., Damian R., Walker S., Riley W., Anna B., Emma H., Gwendolyn A., Josie J., Chase A., Sammy D., Zaylee L., Sarah B., Landon A., Brian B., Wilder L., Avery G., 
Evan G, Logan M, Abigail T. Happy birthday to all of those boys and girls come down to the front office because we want to celebrate with you. And we also have one of our very own teachers, Miss Cal Hurst. Boys and girls, give her a high five in the classroom and, and wish her a great day on this day, her special day. Our moment in today's women's history, we're going to highlight Harriet E. Wilson. Can you get that picture for me? And Harriet E. Wilson was one of the first female American American African American novelist, and she was born today in 1825. Her, her novel of Nig or Sketches from the, the Life of a Free Black was published anonymously in 1859 in Boston. That's Harriet E. Wilson. And let's see what's happening in the race, the Iditarod race. I understand that these teachers, your team recently finished, and that's Miss Dillon, Miss Cokey, Miss Bird, Miss Kim Morris, Miss Sheffield, Miss James, Miss Stahl, Miss Keaton, and Miss McMahon. And we have the following uh, uh, teams that are still racing, and that's Mr. Marti, Ms. Keltner, Ms. Owens, Ms. J. Morris, Ms. Rockenstein, Ms. Hagen, Ms. Saad, Ms. Denton, Ms. Gutter, Ms. Stoltz, Ms. Lovett, and Ms. Bellflower. So they are still going at it. Wow, way to go with that. Now I understand that we did indeed cancel uh, our field trip today. The, the weather looks kind of nice, but boys and girls, you know, we're still in school, so make sure that you find something productive uh, with the teachers and just have some fun today with your learning. All right. And I want to make sure that we say hello to our officer of the day. Officer Dunphy, good morning. Give him a high five and show him how excited you are that spring break is coming up. Those are all the announcements that I have at this time. Team leaders, I need to make sure that I get an opportunity to see each of you today on your planning time. It would only take a, f a couple of minutes. If I've already seen you, I want to make sure that I do have that opportunity. I may actually come around myself. But thank you. We're going to turn it back over to the news team. Are we ready? That's, That's it for today's edition, edition of WTTS. WTTS. Cheers to 30 years, Trailblazers. And, and remember, no grit, no pearl. Bye. Bye.